Hello and welcome back to On Point Wargaming. Uh, this is the second video in the Panzer III build from Warlord Games and in the first video I ran through the build of the kit and how this went together. Uh, now if you've seen that video I, I really enjoyed putting that kit together and so the next step was to, was to get some paint um, on the tank. As I always do, uh, I consulted a lot of reference photographs uh, for inspiration and decided that rather than go for a, a full whitewash camouflage scheme, I'd make the tank look worn, as if the wash had been applied many months before, but was faded um, due to you know, the elements and, and battle and grime and dirt, that kind of thing. Um, this fits in with the look of the infantry that I've completed already, who have a few bits and pieces of winter camouflage and a smattering of snow on their bases, but they don't look as if they're in the depths of winter. Um, as with the build, the painting really didn't take that too long to complete, uh, about an hour or so from start to finish, uh, and this is the finished Panzer III. Now to achieve this scheme, I, I used Vallejo Dark Rubber as the base coat and then simply added um, black for the tyres and then a mixture of uh, dark rubber and dark rust for the tracks. Uh, when these were fully dry, it was time to add the white. I was a bit nervous at this point because I'd, I'd never applied anything like this before to any 20 tanks. Uh, but what I did, I used an 80-20 an mix of Vallejo Ivory and white and then use an old brush to dry brush the mixture across the, the entire hull of the tank. When this was done, I then used a mixture of dark rust and sunny skin tone to dull the white right down. Um, I just applied this over most of the tank where it, was, where it was predominantly white. This also removed some really, really stark highlights on, on the sharp edges of, of the, the tank. The dry brushing had caused, and also gave the tank an overall weathered look. Uh, I then used uh, Agrax Earthshade to apply dirt, grime and streaks uh, to the hull. I always keep this, this part to a minimum as it can often detract from the overall look. Um, I then painted the hull and coaxial machine guns in gunmetal grey followed by a wash of Nuln oil. Now for the weathering on the tracks and wheels I used a combination of Agrax Earthshade and a lightly dry brushed uh, Vallejo Burnt Umber. Now finally I wanted to add some snow to tie the tank in with my Stalingrad infantry. And to do this, I combined bicarbonate of soda with PVA glue, I then added a small amount of Vallejo mud um, to simulate a more dirty looking snow and, and ice combination. Uh, this was, was applied sparingly to the tracks, I didn't want to go overboard, so I applied it very sparingly to the running gear and the lower hull. Again, with this, less is more, and I, I didn't want to gunge the entire tank up. Uh, with, with, with snow and mud. I think again that would detract from the overall look. What I was looking for was um, the, the, the snow is beginning to melt and there's lots of mud on the streets and it's kind of you know, it's, it's it's getting built up but not to a, a, a great snow drift uh, degree. But when I start the base for this I will use a similar method uh, to represent snow on there. And with that the, the Panzer 3 is finished uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I enjoyed both the build and the painting of the kit and as I mentioned in the previous video I, I would highly recommend this kit to, to any German player that's looking to expand their, their early um, and mid-war lists. Now, I managed to pet build and, and paint this in, in under two hours uh, and when you want to get your models to the tabletop quickly this is a really quick build to complete so really really happy with that. So uh, what's next on the painting and gaming horizon? Well I have four Australian infantry uh, to finish 
uh, to complete my 1000 point Australian project. I am so close right now and I'll be, I'll be really glad when this is finished and I'm really looking forward to seeing the whole project tie together. The Australian range from, from Warlord is a fantastic range um, and I'm really glad that I started this uh, last year. I've only got around to, to completing, it, completing it now though. Um, we also have a, another bolt action battle report planned and we'll be heading to the Pacific Jungles, <coughs> excuse me, where I'll once again be facing Ian's Imperial Japanese Army. Now I'm still deciding whether to take my trusty US Marines or blood my um, hopefully freshly painted Australians, but keep an eye out for that battle report coming soon to the channel. Well, hope you enjoyed the video um, showing the build of the Panzer III. Um, it's been a really, really enjoyable kit, a really enjoyable build to get through. Um, and I'm really looking forward to my next uh, my next tank kit, if, it's, if they're all as good as this. Um, as always, any comments or questions, just pop them down below. Well, thanks for watching. Take care, and may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.